And a tornado also damaged dozens of structures in West Point, Georgia. ABC News meteorologist Samara Theodore has more on the latest there and the forecast for the rest of the week. Hi, Samara. Good morning, Diane. So, yes, that tornado in West Point, Georgia, touched down yesterday. And this comes on the heels of the Rolling Fork tornado. You can see the imagery looks eerily similar. So we are going to wait for the National Weather Service to get out there and survey it. By, but I anticipate this is a very strong tornado that touched down yesterday. So here we go right now. We still remain under a tornado watch for much of South Georgia. Flood watches and warnings are in effect as well. Here's a look at the rest of today. From Dothan into Albany, Columbus, right on into Savannah, we are looking at the threat for more isolated tornadoes, damaging winds, large hail, and flooding continues to be a concern. Now, the next storm we're tracking out west, it picks up uh, during the top of the week, but look what happens. It starts to move into the heartland and then into areas like Missouri and St. Louis on Friday. This is going to pose a major threat, a significant threat. At this point, we're already seeing elevated risk for tornado threats. We could be seeing more strong and damaging tornadoes moving into areas like Missouri. Now, the U.S. average is about 84 tornadoes during the month of March. Uh, and Mississippi usually averages around five tornadoes down that way. The devastation is just uh, unreal in areas like Rolling Forks, Mississippi. We're going to continue to keep an eye on this, but severe weather season is starting to really ramp up now. So it's important that we're taking all the precautions we can. Diane? Samara, what do these areas have to look forward to now? Does, there, does it seem like the danger is cleared or could there be more storms coming? No, so there are more storms coming. We anticipate more storms in the uh, in the next 24 hours. But the thing is, we're seeing that threat shift now to areas like southern Georgia. So just south of Macon, Georgia, into Savannah, they have to be on high alert. This system in particular is taking its time lingering as it moves through the southeast. So we have that stationary boundary there, and it's just taking its time as it shifts south of Macon into Savannah. And we're going to continue to see the, th the threat for isolated tornadoes. And one thing I want to mention, Diane, is at the end of the week, Missouri, that's going to be a state that needs to be on high alert as they have an enhanced risk for tornadoes by Friday. Samara Theodore, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.